So if you've been paying attention to the news, you'll have heard that Tiny T about five chips have arrived and I've already sent them off to the contract manufacturer to get them assembled, but I kept some back here to have a play with. And some of the great designs on there include some of these VGA demos, and they're all using this great P mod that's contributed by the community. But today I want to take a look at a super special secret design, which is the first ever analog design that we included on Tiny Tape Out and paved the way to for mix signal and analog on Tiny Tape Out 6, 7, and 8. So in this video, I'm going to show that design working and I'm going to make a few measurements with the Digilent Analog Discovery 3, which is a really cool tool we can use for mixed signal design measurement and characterization. So here we are on Tiny Tape Out 5, chip map, and let's load this analog project. And it's by Harold Prettel and Jacob Ratchenberger. And it's also using a custom layout tool called Ralph, which I'll link down in the description of this video if you want to check it out. It's got a ring oscillator and a DAC. And if you're interested to find out more, you can load the uh, GitHub repository. Here's the layout. This top part here is the DAC and the bottom part here is the ring oscillator. And we've got these controls and the outputs go to these two output pins. I'm loving Maximo's update on the 3D viewer. So I'm always doing these exploded views with the cool grayscale, make it look like an X-ray. Oh yeah. Delicious. So here's the design for the ring oscillator. We can look inside. This is X scheme by Stefan Shippers. And this is the test bench. So I can run the test bench, do the simulation, and let's see what the ring oscillator looks like. And it's meant to be oscillating around 500 kilohertz. Now this is the test setup, the Digilent is plugged in and I've got a tiny tape at five chip in this cool QFN socket. Let's me check quickly. And here I'm using the tape out commander to enable the ring oscillator. So there you can see it's jumping straight away. Need five and six turned on. And as I short out the fuse, you can see that that frequency is going up and the voltage is going up. And that's because the ring oscillator is really sensitive to voltage. So now let's take a look at the DAC. Here's the DAC and the DAC test bench. And again, I can run a simulation. These voltage supplies here are ordered and they're programmed. So they're gonna do like a staircase and turn on each level one at a time. So we get this sawtooth style wave out here. It's just a three bit DAC. So only eight output levels. So back to waveforms, which is a software for the Digilent device. I've got to enable it with three, and then I can go through all the steps by turning on these bits, counting up from naught to seven. And one of the cool things about this uh, Digilent device is also got a waveform generator. So if I plug in these output pins to control those input pins of the ASIC, I can enable this waveform and it's going to run at one kilohertz and make me my sawtooth step pattern. Adjust the trigger there. So let's see what happens when we increase the speed from one kilohertz to 100 kilohertz. And we're getting that uh, rounded edge due to the capacitance on the design and the IO pins. So this is real fantastic news because it shows that the analog stuff that we've got in Tiny Tape Out is working. This design is power gated, so the power gate is working. So it's a really good sign for Tiny Tape Out 6 and 7 and onwards. And uh, I've really enjoyed playing with this uh, Digilent tool. They're not sponsoring this video, but if Digilent is listening and you want to sponsor this video, then get in touch. And it makes a great companion for doing mixed signal characterization. One thing I'm looking into is setting this up as a remote lab. So there's this stuff on the table set up with a webcam and then allowing people to log in. So if you submit a design, but you don't receive the board or you don't have the expensive test equipment, then you can use this remotely. So have fun. I hope you get involved with mixed signal and analog for Tiny Tape Out 8. The shuttle is already open and it closes on September the 6th. So have a great weekend and enjoy the rest of your life.